morning everyone. I hope you are joining us for a, a nice invigorating backbend flow today, this morning. Um, before we start, I just want to make a little announcement. So I've been making, uh, well I'll be launching a beginner's yoga series on my channel, on my YouTube channel. So if you haven't already subscribed and click on the notifications, um, it's a little bell shaped looking uh, icon next to your, the subscribe button. So if you haven't clicked that, go ahead and click that. <coughs> so I'll be starting the beginner's yoga series in May, from May, and also I'll be starting to upload some of the short, shorter videos for people to take yoga breaks during the day. So that will be all free content besides the, the yoga, the beginner's yoga series. <coughs> so um, we are doing a heart opener on back bend today and just explore and have fun. Um, if there are some poses that you feel it's too much for your joints and it's causing you pain, please feel free to rest and um, come back to child's pose or come to a place where you feel more comfortable and supported. Okay, there's no need to force yourself into anything. All right, let's start by coming onto our mats. Okay, so today what you need is, if you have blocks, use blocks and a foam and a strap or a belt at home. This coming onto the mat with your knees slightly wider than the hips, signs of the big toes touch, sitting down to your heel and then taking your child's Just using this time to settle in to your body, noticing how you're feeling physically, emotionally, noticing your breath. Taking a few deep breaths here. Inhaling for four, exhaling for four. Notice the spaces that your breath creates inside your body. And then starting to move onto your wrist and go to slide your body slightly forwards almost like a supported plank pose position so your shoulders are slightly ahead of your wrists if this is too much for your wrist back off a little bit and then sliding back down to your child pose so we'll do the, a few rounds here so lifting inhale as we lift up exhale so we back down at this time Allow your spine to move free. So maybe you're doming up your spine slightly as you move forward. And as you sit back, exhale. Warming up your wrist as well. Let's do one more time. Now reach your arms all the way forward. Inhale, looking forward, planting your your heart, your hands slightly wider than your shoulders, and spread your fingers wide. Lifting your hips up, tucking the toes under, and lift up into downward facing dog. Keeping your feet hip width apart or wider, and then just using this time to paddle your feet. Notice any tightness around the back of your legs, hamstrings, calves. And then stay in a modified child's pose with your knees slightly bent, tilting your pelvis up, pushing your chest back towards the sides. Relax your neck. And inhale, looking forward, stepping your feet forward. 
Bring your feet hip width apart, and if you have blocks in front of you, resting your hands on the block. If not, use your hands in front of your legs and coming into a half lift. Straight back, straight legs. Feeling the engagement of your back muscles. Inhale and exhale, fold forward. Relaxing your back and your neck. Take a slight bend in your knees. Inhale, sweeping your arms back. Reach your arms up. Lengthen through your fingertips. Exhale, sweeping the arms back down, fold forward. Again, you're welcome to bend your knees and rest your hand on the mat if you don't have a block. And inhale, half lift, concave back. Exhale, bending the knee, hands on the mat, stepping back into tabletop position. So in the tabletop position, your wrists are under your shoulders, knees hip width apart. Inhale, concave back, cow pose. Exhale, drawing the belly in, tucking the tailbone, rounding the spine. Inhale, concave back, drawing the shoulders back and down, away from your ears. Exhale, round back. Inhale. One more. Inhale, feeling each segment of the spine. Exhale, round. Inhale, come back to tabletop position, stepping your legs back for plank. Remember, your legs are still hip width apart or wider. And in the plank pose, it might help to have your wrists slightly ahead of your shoulders. So pushing down into the floor. Feel like you're hugging your hands towards each other. Push down into the mat with your hands. Keep your collarbones broad and feel the shoulder blades spread apart as you actively push your shoulder blades down and wrapping the shoulder blades. Inhale. Exhale, lift your hips up, push back into downward facing dog. Coming into your down dog. Staying here for a few deep breaths. See if you can lift your toes. Descending the heel a little bit more. Remember to keep your pelvis slightly tilted so that your sit bones are lifting up. And just notice the sensations around the back of your legs. You want to feel a little bit more in the bulk. Feel the belly of the thigh and the calves, not in your buttocks or behind your knees. Inhale, looking forward, sweep stepping forward. Bring your feet hip width, half lift. So again, hands either on the blocks or in front of your legs, but feel an active lifting and extension of your spine, feeling your back muscles engage. Inhale. And exhale, fold forward. Bending the knees. Inhale, sweeping your arms back. Reach up to the ceiling. Lengthen through your fingertips. Interlacing your fingers on top. Turn the palms up towards the ceiling. Push the palms up. Again, feel the shoulder blades wrapping up and lifting up towards your ears. And take a moment to just feel your knuckle as well. Inhale, exhale, right hand side bend. Grounding your left foot down into the floor. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, left hand side bend. Reaching and pushing the palm away to the side. Inhale, up. Exhale, lengthening from your palms up to the hips. Inhale, up. And exhale. Inhale up, release your hands, fold forward. Inhale, half lift, concave back. Exhale, hands on the mat, stepping back to plank. Inhale, exhale, lower the knees, control landing. So shifting the weight slightly forward, keep your abdominals engaged and try and lower your hip and your chest at the same time. 
Inhale, lift and back to baby cobra. Rolling the shoulders back and down, have your elbows in, pressing them to the tops of your feet. Exhale, tucking the toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, lifting your right leg up. Bend your knees and just take a moment to circle your knees. Again, use this practice to play and explore a different movement. Draw your knee the other way. Feeling the internal and external rotation of the legs and then lower. Lifting your left leg this time. Bend your knee and start to circle. Imagine there's a pin at your knee and you're drawing circles of thin air. And then let's draw it the other way. And lower. Inhale, looking forward, shifting forward, stepping forward. Half lift, feet hip width apart. And exhale, fold. Inhale, sweeping the arms back, reach up to the ceiling. Gazing up, going into a slide back in here. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands to the mat, stepping back to plank. Inhale. Exhale, lower the knees, control landing. Inhale, baby cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, stepping your feet forward. Bring your feet together this time. Half lift. Concave back. Straight legs. Feeling the tilt of your sit bones up towards the ceiling. And then exhale, fold. And then slowly bending your knees. See how it feels for your knees? Going as low as you can without causing pain. Inhale, bring your arms in front of you. So keeping your arms next to your ears, reach forward. And now inhale, lifting your arms up to the ceiling. Chair pose. As you reach your arms up and fingers up, extending through your middle fingers, lifting the shoulder blades up and gently draw the belly in as you exhale. Feeling the back bend starting here in your chair pose. And inhale, see if you can lift your heels. Balancing on the balls of the feet. Inhale, exhale, release your heels, standing up tall, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands to the mat, stepping back to plank. Inhale, exhale, knees down, control landing. Inhale, baby cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lifting your right leg up. Point your toe up as hard as you can. Allow the left heel to gently descend. Inhale. Exhale, stepping your leg forward, your right leg. Your leg is still hip width apart. Inhale, arms in front of you. Keeping your arms next to your ears. Keeping your front knee on top of your ankle. Straighten the left leg. Inhale, lift, arms up. Warrior one variation with the back heel lifted. Straighten the back knee. Inhale. Exhale, sweeping the arms down and plank. Inhale. Exhale, knees down, control landing. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lifting your left leg up. Point your toe up, lift the leg as high as you can. 
and allow that right heel to gently descend. Inhale and exhale, bend your knees, sweep your leg forward. Legs still hip width apart, knee on front knee on top of your ankle, straighten the back leg and inhale, arms in front of you. Hugging the thighs in towards each other, draw the belly in as you exhale. Inhale, lifting your arms up to the ceiling. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, sweeping the arms down, stepping back to plank. Inhale, exhale, knees down, control landing. Inhale, baby cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Stay in your down dog for three deep breaths. Finding extensions and length along the sides of your body, the front, the back. And bring your attention to the back of your legs. Gently lengthen the back, descending the heels. And inhale, lean forward, stepping feet forward. Half lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, sweeping the arms back, reach up to the ceiling. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, bend the knee. Hands on the mat, stepping back to plank again. And inhale. Exhale, lower the knees down. You're going to do a few push-ups with your hands. You're welcome to keep your feet on the mat or lifting the feet up. Inhale. Exhale, keep the engagement of your front abdominals as you lower your chest. Remember, you don't have to lower all the way down. Inhale, push up. Exhale, lower the chest. Inhale, up. Exhale, lower. Hugging your elbow in as you, as you lower the chest. Exhale, lower. Keep the abdominals engaged. Inhale, up. Let's do one more. Exhale. Inhale up. Lower the feet. I'm lifting up to downward dog. Inhale, come into plank. We're going to try Chaturanga. Keeping, pressing your heels back. Inhale. Exhale, bend your knee, bend your elbow. Lower to Chaturanga. And inhale up. Lifting your chest up and flatten the tops of your feet. If it's okay for your lower back, keeping the thighs hovering off the mat. Inhale, lift your heart up. Exhale, tucking the toes. Downward facing dog. Stay here for a few deep breaths. Descending the heel, pushing the chest toward your thumb. Inhale, exhale, draw the belly in, finding space, no tension around your neck. Inhale, stepping your feet forward and coming into the half lift. Exhale, fold forward. Bending the knees, inhale, sweeping the arms back. Reach up to the ceiling. Gazing up, going a little slide back bend here. And inhale. Exhale, sweeping the arms back. Fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, bend your knee, hands on the mat, stepping your right leg back. Lower your right knee down to the mat. 
Flat in the foot. Inhale, arms up under the nails. Exhale, gently sinking the hips down. Still drawing the front knee back, back knee forward, and the gentle hugging in the big thighs towards the center. Inhale. Exhale, interlacing your fingers at the back. Roll your shoulders back, slide your hands down the back leg. Lift your heart. Inhale. Exhale, release your hands. Hands on the mat. So you, you, I want you to have your, your weight a little bit more to the front of your body, towards the front leg. And then see if you can lift your back leg off. The back foot off the mat. And lower. Continue to keep your front, your weight in the front. Exhale, lifting the leg. Feeling the engagement of your hamstring at the back. At the back. And lower. Exhale, lift. And lower. One more. Exhale, lift. And lower. Now lifting your back leg off. See if you can hold on to your foot at the back. Bring your left hand, you can use your left hand to support your knee. Without causing any pain in the knee again, if you want to cushion the knee, use a foam or rolled up mat. Inhale, exhale, release. Tapping the toe under a step back into three-legged dog. So lifting your left leg up into three-legged dog. Point your toe up as high as you can again. And then exhale, bend your left knee, taking your left foot slightly down towards your mat on the right side, opening up that left hip. And try and keep your shoulders facing down, keeping them level, Inhale, exhale, bring your leg down. Staying in your down dog. Inhale, looking forward, stepping forward. Feet hip width, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweeping the arms up. Looking up, gazing up. In. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands to the mat. Stepping your left back, left leg back this time. And lower the knee. Legs will still hip width apart. Flatten the back foot. Inhale, arms up and generosity. Drawing the front knee back, back knee forward. And then allow the hip. To slowly descend, hanging the thighs in towards the center, reach through your little fingers up, lengthen the sides. And if you wish, gazing up slightly. Inhale, exhale, now clasping your hands at the back. Roll the shoulders back, slide your hand down the back leg, lift your heart up. Continue to hug the, the hips towards the center and inhale. Exhale, release your hands. Hands on the mat or on the glass, keeping your weight forward ahead of you, keeping your weight a little bit more onto the front foot. And then lifting the back leg off the mat, back foot, point your toe, and lower. And exhale, lift. Feeling the engagement of your hamstring at the back and lower. Exhale, lift. Remember, you're welcome to cushion the knee if you wish. Lower. Exhale, lift. Draw the foot towards your butt and lower. Exhale, lift. And then see if you can hold on to your foot with your left hand. Supporting your body uh, with your right hand on your knee. Gently pull the foot towards your body. Lifting your gaze. 
lifting the heart. Inhale, exhale, release, hands on the mat, tucking the toe under, stepping your right leg back into three legged dog. Hovering, lifting the right foot, point your toe up, bending your knee, allow that right foot to drop over toward the left side of your mat, feeling an openness across the front of your right hip. Keeping your shoulders level, stay here, and inhale, exhale, release the leg, paddle the feet, draw one heel at a time, and then stay in your down dog. Inhale, come into plank, exhale, Chaturanga or lower your knees. Inhale, lift up to the uh, upward facing dog. Push down with the hands, shoulders down, collarbones broad. Lifting your thighs off the mat. Inhale, exhale, tapping the toes and up to down dog. Stay three deep breaths in your down dog. And taking this time to check in with your body. Any emotions that have, may have risen. Checking in with the pattern and the rhythm of your breath. And inhale, lean forward. Stepping your feet forward. Be hip width, half lift. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, sweeping your arms back and reach up to the ceiling. Going into a slide back bend if you wish. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands to the mat, stepping back to plank. Inhale, exhale, lower the knees down, lower the whole body down. Going into our locust pose. So keeping your hands next to your hips, palms facing up. Legs are hip width or wider. So you don't want any crunching or pinching sensation on the sacrum. And then inhale, lift, chest up, thighs up, reach the arms towards the back, neck nice and long. Exhale, low. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Last one. Inhale, lift. Give it your best. Stay. Each time you inhale, lifting up a little bit more. Lifting the thigh. Lifting the chest. And exhale, release. Bring your hands under your forehead. Rocking your hips from side to side if you wish. And stay for a few deep breaths. Breathing into your belly, into the front and the sides of your belly. And going up into bow pose. So, Lifting your chest up. Um, we'll do this uh, separately. So starting with your right leg, coming onto your left elbow to support, to lift your chest. Hold onto your right leg with your right hand. 
and work to lift the chest, push the foot back. For the moment, our thighs are still on the floor, so I just want you to bring that, or have that sensation of pushing your foot into your hands. Try and keep your shoulders level on the floor, and then release. Going to the other side, so elbow, right elbow down on the mat, bend your left leg, hold on to your left foot, and then lift the chest off, push the elbow down, push the left foot back. So keeping, bring that sensation of um, pushing the hand, pushing into your hand, and thereby lifting the chest. Inhale, exhale, release. Take a moment to just rest here. You're welcome to rock your hips from side to side. Taking two more deep breaths before we go into both legs. Breathing into your lower back. And then bending both knees. Hold on to both your foot with your hands. Um, if you're not holding onto the foot, you're welcome to use the strap around your foot. And then when we lift, you want to lift your thighs and your chest off the mat. So inhale, thighs off, push the foot up towards the ceiling and back. Lifting your chest and inhale, exhale, release. Let's do two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. One more. Inhale, lift. Give it your best. Lifting the foot up, chest up. And then let's see if we can rock. Rock a little bit. Okay. Don't do this if you've just had a full meal. <laughs> and then release. Resting your hands underneath your forehead. And stay. You are welcome again to rock your hips from side to side. And stay. Breathing into the back of your body. Sides of your belly. Taking two more deep breaths. And slowly bring your hands next to your chest. Pushing yourself up into child's pose. Bring the knees wider than your hips. Sides of the big toes touch and sit back down to your heel. Soften your shoulders. Soften your back. Slowly lifting yourself up. Okay, coming into our seated posture. So starting with, if you have a, a foam or a cushion, sitting on your cushion or your foam. Bring the feet hip width apart. Feeling the tilt of your pubic bone down towards the mat. Lifting your toes up towards you, pushing the heels away and down. Hands behind your hips. 
Gently push down into the floor, lifting your hips, lifting your sternum, shoulders down and away from your ears. Dhanadasana. Let's take a moment to see how your pelvis feels. So there should be a slight anterior tilt of your pelvis where your pubic bone is going down towards the mat. And feel the left side and the right side of your pelvis level. Now bending your right knee, bring your right knee down towards the mat. If you want to support your right knee with a block, you're welcome to use a block. So when you're bending your knee, when you're taking your knee out to the side, ideally you want it to be to have to have it on the floor, flat on the floor, and that your pelvis is still level. So if you find that your knee is on the floor but your pelvis is lifting up, rather you support your knee with a block. And if you need a strap here just now, you're welcome to use a strap. Inhale, reaching the arms up. Lengthen through the fingertips. Exhale, hinging forward. Inhale, lifting up. Arms up. Exhale, leave with your chest as you fold. Inhale, up. Exhale, inhale up and exhale. Inhale up, exhale, fold forward and see if you can reach your, hand, your foot. If not, use a strap. So with the strap you can put it on around the ball of the foot. And then inhale, lifting up into a half lift position. So feel the spine in a slight concave action, lifting your chest towards your toes, shoulders away from your ears, and grow tall through the crown of your head. If you find that you're hyperflexing around your knee, um, you're welcome to put another roll of blankets underneath your knee. If you find that this is too much for your hamstring and you're actually feeling it around your, your buttocks, rather keep your knees bent up a little bit more. So again, you don't want the sensation around your joints. You want it towards the belly or the bulk of the muscle. Inhale. Exhale, hinging forward. Walking your hands a little bit closer. Inhale, half lift again. One more. Exhale, hinging forward. Keeping your sternum aligned with the center of your kneecap. And then resting your head. Resting your head. When you're falling forward, try not to pull yourself. Let your body be where it is. This is the part of acceptance during your yoga journey. And inhale, looking forward, coming into the half lift and reach the arms up. Exhale, hands down. So a nice stretch for your hamstring. All right, changing sides. Extending your leg in front of you, bending your left leg out to the side. And again, if you need to cushion your left knee with a block, do that. As long as you're keeping your pelvis, your sit bones level, on your support. Keeping your right foot active. Inhale, arms up to the ceiling. Pubic bone is still tilting down, sternum lift. Exhale reach forward. Inhale, lift. Exhale, reaching forward. Inhale. Exhale, lead with your chest. Inhale, up. Exhale. One more. Inhale, up. And exhale. And here, if you need the strap, you're welcome to use 
lifting the strap around the ball of the foot and then lifting your heart up, extending through the crown of the head, shoulders down away from your ears, keeping your arms straight and as you lift your chest and concave the back, your pubic bone tilts a little bit more down towards the mat. And again, if you need to cushion the back of your knee, you're welcome to cushion the back of your knee. If you need to bend it a little bit more, do that. Inhale. Exhale, walking your hands a little closer towards your foot, towards your toes. Inhale, sternum lift. Keeping your sternum in line with the center of your knee. Inhale. And exhale, fold. And this time, allow the neck to completely rest, surrendering your pose, your pose without pulling or trying to um, get your body down. Let your body be where it is. And just enjoy the stretch across the back of your legs. Feeling the sensation around the back, the center of your back thigh. Maybe on the calves. But definitely not behind your knee, nor in your butt. And inhale, reach the arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, hands up. Bring your legs in front of you, coming back to Dandasan. Going into a twist. Bending your right knee, taking your right foot across over to the left side. Hanging your knee into your chest and your chest lifting up towards your knee. Feeling a slight stretch across your right glute. And then hook your left elbow in the knee, around your knee right knee. Bring your right hand towards the back. Hands behind your sacrum, behind your tailbone. And fingertips down into the floor. Inhale, lift your spine up. Feel the pubic bone tilts down a little bit more towards the mat. And then you're welcome to increase your twist by twisting from your thoracic spine, drawing the belly in as you twist. Notice that your left knee, your left foot, is going to slide slightly forward as you twist, as you allow the pelvis to move with your spine. See if you can wrap your back arm around the back, and maybe touch the thigh on the opposite side. And then inhale, exhale, release, come back to center. Straighten the leg in front of you and then bending your left knee, taking the left foot over across, hugging your knee into your chest, chest lifting up towards your knee. Feeling the pubic bone tilting down as you, as you lift your sternum. And then hooking your right elbow around your left knee, taking your left hand to the back. Inhale, grow tall, lift your spine up, use your fingertips. Exhale, deepening the twist through your rib cage by drawing the belly in. So again, your right foot is going to stick out a little bit more as you twist. And then see if you can wrap your back arm around the back, reaching for the thigh on the opposite side. Keeping your gaze down on the floor behind you. Inhale. And exhale, release. Come back to center. Straightening your legs in front of you. And then bending both knees. Sliding off your um, seat or your cushion. Reclining down to your back. Hugging your knees 
chin to your chest. You're welcome to keep your knees apart if you feel a pinching sensation around your groin. And then lower your feet down. So you find first. Bring your, keeping your knees hip width apart, lower your knees down toward your right side. If you would like to deepen the twist, you can take your left leg a little bit over, taking the left leg over the right leg and then use your right hand, place it on top of your left leg and deepen the twist with a little bit more of the weight from your hand. You can look over towards your left side. Stay here for a few more deep breaths. Feel like you're pushing your left hip away from you. Away. Lengthening the side of your body as you twist. Feeling the expansion around the, the side of your ribs as you twist, as you breathe. And then slowly come back to center. Keeping your knees apart again. Lower your knees up to the left side. So again, you're welcome to stay in this position. Or if you want to deepen your twist. Lifting your right leg over the left and then holding, putting your left hand on top of the right knee and give it a little bit of the weight on your right knee. Soften the knee, let it rest comfortably. As you look over to the right side, Pushing gently your right hip away from your head, lengthening the side of your body. And you're welcome to bring the knee up a little bit closer to your chest as well. And slowly come back to center. Hugging both the knees into your chest again. And then lower your feet down. We're going to lie down in Suttapada Konasana. It's going to part your knees, keep your feet together, the soles of the feet together, and allow the knees to gently drop over to the sides. If you want to cushion your thighs with the blocks or blankets, you're welcome to cushion it. But we won't stay here for too long, so just let gravity do the work for you. Feeling an openness across the front of your hip. A stretch across your inner thighs. Each exhalation, soften your knees, soften the body, soften the inner thighs. Let your knees drop. Staying here for five more deep breaths.
and slowly bring your knees up to center. Part your feet, bring your knees into touch. And again, stay here for a few deep breaths. Noticing any sensations around your hips and your legs. Maybe around your back. And then sway your knees from side to side. We call it the windscreen wipe with the knee. And then bring your knees to center. Hug your knees into your chest once more. And then release your feet down to the mat. Extend your legs in front of you for Shavasana. Relax your arms out to the side. Parting your legs as comfortably as you need. And your arms as comfortably as wide as you need. Checking in with your body again. Notice if there are any tensions. Make adjustments if necessary. And just soften. Breathing in deeply. Exhaling through your mouth. And continue breathing through your nostrils. Focus on the rhythm of your breath once you have fully relaxed your body. With each exhalation, allow the body to soften a little further. Allow the whole of the back. Move out the mouth. Inhaling to the count of four. See if you can exhale to the count of six without tension. Keeping your breath smooth and easy at the even pace. Taking two more rounds of your conscious breathing. Inhaling for four. And exhaling for six. Welcome to stay here and practice your breathing. So if you're ready to come out, bring some movement to your fingers and toes. 
Rolling your ankles, rolling your wrists. And extending your arms overhead and the feet away from you. Have a nice long stretch across your body. And bending your knees. Hugging your knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice hug. Rolling over to your side of choice. Lifting yourself up to seated. You're welcome to sit up on the foam again if you wish. Find a comfortable cross-legged position. Bring your hands to prayer. Use this time to either chant all three times or a mantra of your choice. Notice how the yoga practice and the deep breathing has done for your body, for your mind. And taking a gentle bow, thanking the heaven, the earth, our leaders, parents, teachers, all the people we've met, people we have encountered, good or bad. Thanking all the people in our lives, our family and friends, and thanking our body, thanking ourselves for looking after the wellness of our body and mind. For a little bit of self care. Taking a gentle bow. Thank you. Remember to check my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Have a nice day.